Hi everybody and welcome to the Indusoft video building an Andon system in just a few minutes. We're going to try to build a complete Andon production display uh, dashboard in just about 10 minutes or so. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new application. I'm going to call this Andon and I'm going to pick one of the license levels here and it doesn't matter what you choose because uh, you just need enough tags for your system here and Today, what we're going to do is we're going to choose a monitor size or resolution size that's 1920 by 1080. Now, that fits most high-definition monitors on something that you might have monitoring your production up in the uh, rafters or uh, on a monitor somewhere. But we're going to then uh, go into our uh, project, and so we can see this entire thing on my uh, laptop here. I'm going to set this to auto screen scaling. That'll make it, make it automatically adjust. Then, so we can see the entire uh, screen. Well, at first I have to create a screen. Then, so we can see the entire screen, what I'm going to do is go in here to view and fit this to the window. So now I can see see everything in there. Now, the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change our screen background to black. Now, you can change it to anything that you would like to or even put an image in the background there. And now what we're going to use is um, a set of, set of symbols that we've created uh, and are available on our website. And now the very first thing that uh, we're going to do is we're going to bring in the Andon title. Now that's set up to be 1920 wide. And I'm going to put in here the label of production uh, for line one. And so that will display and automatically center during runtime. Uh, the next thing that we're going to add is some displays that will automatically change at a particular threshold from red to green and allow us to change the label. I have another one in here that's uh, uh, green to red and some graphs and some linear ones as well. So we're going to use this one to monitor station one, then two, then three, and then eventually we're going to total those up and show those in a gauge that goes from red to white to green. Uh, so we'll total those up over here. Then just as a change of pace, uh, we might want to show those a little bit differently. I'm going to show a linear one that has a label next to the uh, uh, data here, and this one also is going to change from red to green. And I'll throw this on the screen and kind of position it appropriately. And we're going to do that with uh, station th uh, four and five eventually. Then what we're going to do is we're going to total those up and display those in yet another symbol. This one's going to go from red to yellow to green, and I'll place that here on the screen. And then uh, finally, we're going to total up all five stations and display that down here in the corner. Uh, just as an added uh, nice little benefit, uh, another uh, symbol that we created a while back and is also available in our blog or our uh, online store is uh, one of these new clocks that we have. And this one I'm just going to tuck down here in the corner. You can display anything that you want to in there. So now let's uh, select all of these. And what I'll do is I'll, I will use the uh, format align. I'll make sure that they're all aligned to the top. And uh, then what I'll do is uh, align. Let's see, those look good. That looks aligned. And maybe we'll align this one down here in the, the bottom for that. OK, now once we've done that, uh, I can go ahead and save this screen. And I'm going to save this as Andon. And then what I'm going to do is make this screen set as my startup screen. Now I need a way to simulate that data because I'm not connected to a PLC. What I've done is uh, I'm going to set up a scheduler worksheet here that will simulate my data. And uh, what I do is I've uh, got off screen. I've already got this uh, set up in text so I can just copy this and uh, paste this in here and that will prompt me as those tags for station one through five and I'm just going to make those all integers and if I had these already in my uh, database tags database it would not prompt me but because they're new I have to do this so what you can see here is I've got it set up to just automatically count up to uh, some values here and then start back over at zero if you need more information on the, how the scheduler works, please feel free to see our training videos. But this just counts up every one second, two second, half second, and adds, the, uh, adds one to that, and then it starts back over. Uh, in order to give us a, a little bit of variation, rather than everything starting at zero, what I'm going to do is I have, again, off screen, I have some text that will... Uh, I'll put here in the startup script that allow me just to set those initial values. I can do that a couple of different ways, but this way I thought was uh, pretty easy to see. So I'm going to start those at just some different values there. I'll save that script. And now what I need to do is then uh, 
go configure each one of these. And now what I'm going to do is uh, configure the first one. Now this one is going to be for station one. And uh, we'll put a second line on there. Whoops. Uh, second line of parts. And then the tag name here, I'm going to double click and that will be station one parts. And then the threshold that that's going to change from red to green will be set at 80. And that will vary depending on your process, but uh, for this demo we're going to do 80 there. So this next one will be station 2. And again in here we'll put parts. And the tag name for this, if you can guess, will be station 2 parts. And the threshold for this one I'm going to set at 50 for again for that text to change from red to green. I'll move on over. Notice that I'm not closing that uh, uh, properties box. Indusoft Web Studio lets me keep that open. And now we'll go to station 3. And I'll click get inside of those quotes there. This will be parts. And you guessed it, station 3 parts. And the threshold for this one would be uh, 130. Now we'll move over to the total, uh, of which we don't have a tag set for that yet. So let me go ahead and do that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Graphics tab here and go into the Graphics script. And in the while open, I'm going to create that tag by totaling up station 1, 2, and 3 parts. So I'm going to create a new tag, and we're going to call that Parts. Uh, and you can give this any name that you want to. I just happen to choose Parts 1 and 2 and 3. Probably might be easier to do that as a parts total or something. Uh, and then here what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a dollar sign and I'm going to start typing the word station. And notice down here Intelli IntelliSense has already found that station 1 parts tag for me. I'm then going to add station 2 parts and finally station 3 parts. Once I have that, uh, now I'm going to have that tag here for parts 1, 2, and 3 totaled up. Uh, I'm going to split screen this vertical tab group so I can keep that open because I know I'm going to come back to that. And now I can put that tag in this um, gauge here. So for this one, the green limit is going to be 275. So let's go ahead and type that in here. And the label for this is going to be uh, station one through three total. And we'll keep that consistent as an uppercase. The maximum for this is going to be uh, what station one, two, and three can be a maximum of, and I'm going to set that up to 450. The minimum will stay at zero, and the red limit will be 250. Again, just for a demo for this, you can set those to whatever you want to. And the tag name for this will be that new one that I've created. Since I haven't saved my screen, it's not in there yet, or my script. It's not in there yet. Let me go ahead and save that. And now I can pull that from my database here, my tags database. So that's the first line of uh, displays. Now we'll go on to uh, station four and we'll change this to be station four. And we're not going to have, uh, uh, no, we will. We'll add in parts in here put a colon there and the tag name as you guessed it is probably station 4 and the threshold for station 4 is going to be set at 100. Uh, now we'll move on to uh, number 5 here. This will be station 5 and we'll drop down and call this parts and the tag name for this last but not least station 5 parts and the threshold for station 5 will be set at 40. All right, now we need to total those up for uh, this display here. And to do that, uh, I'm going to come up uh, here in my script and add in a new tag here called parts uh, 4 and 5. And I'm going to total that up with station 4, uh, add that to station Five, and you might have these total up in the PLC and not have to write this script at all. So now that I have that, once I save that, then that tag uh, will ask me to create that tag. And so now I have that available. So now I can go into here. And for this one, uh, the green limit is going to be, uh, let's see, what did I have that set for? 140. And this will be uh, STA 4. 
and 5 total. And the maximum on this is going to be 150. Minimum will stay at 0. The red limit will be 135. And again, this is just for demo purposes. And then the tag name will be that new total of parts 4 and 5. And so that one is done. Now, what I need to do is total up all of these. So what I'm going to do is add a new uh, tag in here. And we'll go over here. And we'll do a dollar sign. And we'll call this, uh, let's see, what we'll call this. We'll call this line total. Uh, or since this is production line one, maybe we'll call this line one total. And that's going to be uh, station one parts plus station two parts plus station three parts. And I'm just going to copy this to my clipboard, uh, do a plus sign here, come back in and change this to two. And so you can see this. What I'm going to do is uh, move this back here. And now we'll add this in, get station three in here. And put a plus sign and station four. And last but not least will be station five. We'll total all those together. I suppose I could add could have just added those two together. That would have been one way to do it, but uh, for whatever reason I chose to do it this way. And just to make this a little bit uh, more readable, uh, what I'll do is I'll come in here and add some line feeds in there so we get some extra spaces so we can see what's going on. I'll save that script. Uh, line total 1 doesn't exist. I'll close that. And then I'll just come in here and I'll configure that tag name for line 1 total and go through here. So the uh, limit on this is 250. The label for this we're going to make as, uh, let's see, station uh, one, two, five total. The maximum for this one is going to be all of those added together. In this case, it's going to be 600. And then we'll set the red limit at uh, 150. So that's all that it takes. So this should now, uh, just to make sure, what we'll do is go back here. I'm not sure if I did this, but we'll set this as startup. And now what I should be able to do is run this project and have everything on the screen. I've got some values. I've got the time. I've got everything changing. So this will count up and eventually this will change to green. There we go. And you can see that these graphs uh, or charts or gauges are showing. So from a production monitoring standpoint, that's something that you could hang in the sky and set everything up and uh, uh, do that in just, just over 10 minutes here. So I'm uh, at 11 minutes of my recording. So right around my 10 minute mark. And uh, thank you for joining us and watching today. And give us a call if you want to set up a uh, demo or a WebEx. Thanks. Have a great day.